Hi, in this tutorial we will take a closer look at Bitwig Studio and external MIDI gear. I will show you how to connect your hardware synthesizers, synchronize drum machines and groove boxes, and control external gear with MIDI CC. We will also take a glimpse at Bitwig Studio's note effects and modulators, which add powerful new features to external instruments and that you create unique and custom devices that take your hardware to the next level. This tutorial aims at beginners as well as intermediates. Feel free to use the chapter markers to skip the parts that don't apply to you. Let's dive in. Before you connect your hardware, turn down the volume on both your headphones and speakers as a safety precaution. Now plug a MIDI cable into the MIDI output port of your interface and the MIDI input of your synth. If you don't have a dedicated MIDI interface, you can find ports on many audio interfaces and controllers as well. Most modern day synths can also send and receive MIDI over USB. If you have one of those, simply connect it to your computer with a USB cable. Next, connect the audio output of your instrument to the audio input of your interface. Now that we established a MIDI and audio connection, it's time to set up your instrument in Bitwig. Start by adding a new instrument track and insert the hardware instrument device. Select the MIDI port you connected your synth to. Make sure to set the instrument to the correct MIDI channel. Most devices run on channel 1 by default. In the return section of the hardware instrument device, set the input or inputs your synth is connected to and adjust the gain if necessary. If the level looks okay, you can carefully raise the volume on your speakers and headphones again. Now if you press a key, you should hear and see it in your track. Now you're all set to send notes and control messages to your synth and monitor and record audio all conveniently in one track. In case your synth doesn't have any keys, connect the MIDI controller and activate it in the settings under controllers. If your instrument supports MIDI Polyphonic Expression or MPE and you want to play it with an MPE controller, activate the MPE button. And if you just want to use your computer keyboard, we've got you covered too. Just press caps lock and play along. If you connect multiple synths and you want to control them individually, you'll have to assign a different MIDI channel to each of them, both on the hardware synth and the hardware instrument device. Connecting external hardware to your computer can introduce latency as audio signals travel around and have to be converted and processed. To make sure this does not introduce any audible delays, Bitwig can automatically compensate the latency. Just press the click button and the latency compensation will be set to the optimal value. You can also manually adjust timing in a flexible way by using the time shift device or the time offset function built into the hardware instrument devices. Now that your external instrument is set up to receive MIDI from Bitwig, you can control it in a number of ways. Play melodies and chords with a MIDI controller, your computer keyboard or your synths built-in keys. or connect external sequencers to send notes to your synth. Record notes from all of these sources in note clips and refine them with the piano roll editor, or draw in new melodies and chords from scratch. Once you're happy with your MIDI clip, you can save it and load it to any project. With MIDI control change messages or MIDI CC, you can control up to 128 parameters of supported instruments via MIDI. Take a look at your synth's manual to see if it supports MIDI CC. If it does, you're in for a treat, because Bitwig features an extensive collection of powerful tools to enhance your synth's features. To set up MIDI CC, simply add the MIDI CC note effects device. 
Look up the MIDI channel number of the parameter you want to control in the MIDI implementation chart of your synth. Then simply set the CC number of the device knob accordingly. Now you can control the parameter from the MIDI CC note effects device. Draw in automation curves in the piano roll editor. Or assign the knob to an external MIDI controller and record automation in real time. Mapping external MIDI controllers gives you hands-on control over all addressable parameters of your synth, even those that were previously hidden behind menus or shift buttons. Once you're done tweaking your sound, you can save the device as a preset. When you load it later on, you can press flush to send all stored MIDI CC values to your synth. Modulators are powerful modulation tools that you can freely assign to any parameter of any device in your instrument chain. Unsurprisingly, they're especially powerful when working with external synths. You can select from a wide range of modulation sources, such as LFOs, envelope generators, or step sequencers, and route them to any addressable MIDI CC parameter in your synth. Minifreak, for example, has two LFOs, which are controlling the oscillator wave and timbre right now. Thanks to Bitwix modulators, I can easily add a third LFO, which modulates the filter cutoff. In the same fashion, you can add and combine function generators, envelopes, LFOs, sequencers, and many other modulators to bring your sequence to life and take your hardware synth to the next level. To learn more about modulators, watch our in-depth tutorial. Note effects are devices that process incoming MIDI notes and alter them before they're sent to the external instrument. They are not audio effects, but MIDI processors and can be useful to spice up both live performances and note clips. With note effects, you can add expressivity with strums, arpeggiators, and repeats. Or experiment with creative effects like ricochet and dribble. Note effects can also be tweaked, combined, and controlled with modulators. To learn more, watch our in depth tutorial. To sync your drum machine, groove box, or synth with built in sequencer to Bitwig Studio, connect it via USB or MIDI and head to the dashboard. Open the synchronization tab in the settings. Under MIDI Sync Out, activate the MIDI clock for your hardware. If you select Start Stop, Bitwig will also send transport messages. So now if I press play in Bitwig, Poly and Play burns along. If your external hardware supports MIDI song position pointers and you want to use them, activate SPP. To send out MIDI timecode, activate MTC. You can set the global MTC frame rate at the bottom of the list. It's also possible to send a MIDI clock signal directly from the hardware instrument device by activating MIDI clock. To avoid timing issues, make sure to either activate the MIDI clock in the sync settings or the clock in the hardware instrument device, but not both at the same time for the same instrument. Also keep in mind, you have to configure your external device to receive MIDI clock signals in order for this to work. Of course, you can also sync Bitwig Studio the other way around, so it receives a clock signal from your hardware and runs in sync with it. Head to the dashboard and open the synchronization settings. Set sync method to MIDI clock and select your hardware device as MIDI input. Now when I press play on analog rhythm, Bitwig Studio plays along in sync. For this to work, make sure your external gear is set up to send MIDI clock and transport signals. 
to play and control devices in Bitwig from external MIDI hardware, such as keyboards, sequencers, or controllers, connect them and head to the dashboard. In the controller settings, select the hardware vendor from the drop-down menu and the model from the list. If there's no script available for your controller, select one of the three generic presets instead. You can customize them to exactly meet your controller's requirements. Now activate the controller and select the MIDI in and outputs you want to use with it. Controller interactions are by default visualized in Bitwig, but you can deactivate this behavior by clicking the text bubble icon. Click the gear icon for additional settings, which will differ depending on your device. To open the help file with more information about Bitwig's integration with your specific controller, click the question mark. Now I'm ready to play and control phase 4 with my complete control keyboard. To assign a parameter to a knob, slider or button, right-click on the parameter and select Map to Control or Key. Now move the controller you want to assign and it's automatically mapped. I can now control the filter cutoff with the controller and record live automation in a note clip. Another interesting way to utilize external hardware in Bitwig Studio is to sequence devices with external hardware sequencers. Torso T1, for example, is a hardware sequencer that outputs MIDI. I've connected it to my computer via USB. To control phase 4 with it, head to the dashboard, open the settings and select controllers. As there is no preset for T1 available, I add a generic keyboard controller and select T1 as input. In case you're wondering, I go with the keyboard controller preset because I only want to send notes from T1 and no MIDI CC, so it's sufficient if Bitwig treats it just like a keyboard. I head to synchronization settings, activate clock, and start stop for the sequencer to make sure it starts and stops with Bitwig and runs in sync. Now I select T1 as input in the instrument track. When I hit play now, T1 runs in sync with Bitwig and sends notes to phase 4. Once I'm happy with the sequence, I can record it as a note clip in Bitwig. This concludes our introduction to MIDI hardware and Bitwig Studio. We hope this guide helps you get started and inspires you to experiment, explore and have fun making music. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel for more content about Bitwig Studio. Thanks for watching and see you soon!